Hello everyone, my team name is PHCR2 and my team ID is SG227076. This is my video presentation for Robocop Coast Base Rescue U19. The main mission is to program the robot to collect as much gems as possible to gain, to gain points. There are three different types of gems, red, cyan and black. These gems are what 10, 15 and 20 points respectively. However, there are only 6 inventory slots for the robot. To solve this, there are 1 to 2 deposit zones in the map which is orange in color. Depositing would also award points. Moreover, there are also blue zones in the map. If a gem in the blue zone is colored, double the points would be awarded. For example, if a black gem is collected in a blue zone, 40 points will be awarded. However, there are also traps which consist of two layers. The outer layer wants the robot to back away, and the inner layer would cause the robot to lose all the gems that it is currently holding. There are also super gems that are pink in color, which award plenty of points. However, they do not generate naturally. When depositing red, cyan and black gems a super gem will be generated however whenever two red two cyan and two black gems are deposited a super plus gem will be generated a super gem will award 90 points and 180 if deposited whereas a super plus gem will award 180 points and 360 if deposited these gems will also be generated randomly across the map So this is my strategy, it is to create as much super and super plus gems as possible. From the map, the red gems are located around the middle area, the cyan gems are located around the right section of the map, and the black gems are located to the left section of the map. However, the black gems are still more rare than the other gems. So I programmed to my robot to stay in a position which is rich of the gems that I want to collect. So, as you can see, the robot stays in the location rich of red gems. It stays there until it collects two red gems. So, after collecting two red gems, it will go to the cyan side. As you can see, it's line following to the cyan location. Now, it is collecting two cyan gems. After collecting the gems, the robot would move to the next position. They will collect gems. To make sure that I either get super or super plus gem, I created three variables, loader red, loader cyan and loader black, which will keep track of how much red, cyan or black gems that it is currently holding. So it will only take a maximum of two gems for each color to be stored. This way, there will be a super plus gem created every time the robot deposits. Now, I had a problem, which is to go in a specific direction or location. So, I have experienced countless times that my robot had to go to a specific location. An example is the robot depositing its gems. The robot should be able to go to the specific location instead of wasting time wandering around. To solve this problem, I use the A10 tool function and the coordinate system to navigate around the map. This would save precious time to collect gems than to just randomly navigate around the map. The knowledge gained from this competition can be applied to the real world in countless situations. An example is a robot collecting trash from various different households or locations. Afterwards, you will deposit the trash to a central area. Here are some values that I learned. Determination, resilience, collaboration, and innovation. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Hope you liked it.